that's often said, isn't it? That that phrase, you know, the one I'm talking about. Life begins at 40. I don't know who came up with that, but it was a very clever move, wasn't it? Simply because it's stuck and everybody says it is a little bit like whoever came up with happy birthday, you know, the sort of thing I mean. But of course, when you are in the public eye and you've reached that pivotal age, it is very difficult because it's like everybody, isn't it? A child star, whether you like Judy Garland or Britney Spears, when you start young, Everybody knows every single thing about you. And I remember the singer Kylie Minogue saying to me, you know, that she couldn't quite believe it because people still see her as the 18, 19 year old Charlene from Neighbours and her Hurley Pop success. And of course, now she's in her 50s and still having mega hits and tours. She said, people still look at you as if you should be that. Everybody moves on. But is this the reason really why Prince Harry has decided to, shall we say, throw his toys out the pram and become, some suggest, rather radical? Let me explain. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you so much in this glorious moment of flowers. Look at those, aren't they nice? You see them all just beautiful, you know? And it's the temperature's dropped over here now, sort of say dropped over here now in the United Kingdom. Yes, it's sort of edging into October and you know it. Yeah, don't worry, I've got a warm thing to put on. And it'll soon be out with the coat. I know people are waiting. That signifies the start of our winter on this channel, doesn't it, with the chums? The minute I have to get my coat out, dread it as everybody knows. It's a bit like apparently Prince Harry who was sort of half dreading his 40th birthday and sort of not. Apparently he felt it was a bit of a coming of age. He had a lot to celebrate and he'd literally changed his life beyond all recognition. Apparently something he wanted to do since his 20s. But it was this particular incident last week that absolutely stunned a lot of people. Now some people are suggesting that it was simply a publicity stunt, a way of you know getting people to divert attention away from all the negativity that was coming out of the Montecito mansion regarding things like bullying and all that type of stuff. The negativity, some suggest, of course, of Meghan Markle's many failed ventures. But moving forward, Harry decided to go and visit this uh, very famous celebrity tattoo parlour in New York City with an idea in mind. And apparently, according to that source, the person who actually inspired him was someone who he sees as something of a very close person in his life and defers to on many situations. Apparently, all business situations, uh, every sort of big decision, he tests his speeches out on her, every single thing is deferred to via Doria Ragland. Now, quite how she's become this font of all knowledge in Harry's life is a bit of a mystery. But Doria herself, you see, is sporting a tattoo. And it was something that personally intrigued Prince Harry when she got it done just over a year and a bit ago now. So much so, he toyed with the idea. According to that source, Doria, as ever we have to say allegedly, put him in touch with certain designers and stuff like that, who he might like and what sort of thing that he would like. And it's all apparently about a declaration of love to his wife, Meghan Markle. Now. <laughs> If you want to anger your few remaining fans, there's nothing like showing that, is there? As many celebrities have worked out, they've had to re-ink their bodies to get rid of former paramours and squeezers uh, as a reminder to the public that they'd made another mistake. Now, no one truly, including myself, is sure whether Harry went ahead with this or indeed just had a chat through. But according to that source, the, bo the bottom line of it all was it was truly inspired by Doria. And apparently what she says goes. And Harry truly listens to her for every facet of his life. Interesting to see, isn't it, whether, of course, the wife, Meghan, will follow suit, showing off her declaration of love in an inking. As ever, it's a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of love.